Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to replace a category in a data frame or in a column. So first, let's go ahead and get the data and I'm just going to import pandas as PD. Shift enter execute the current cell you are in and create a new cell below it. And let's go ahead and read our data frame and let's just call it df. And we can do df.head to get a preview of our data frame. And as you can see right here, this is kind of like a preview of our data frame. df.head shows you the first five rows of your data frame. But in today's video, I am going to focus on the education column. All right, so if I do DF education, Google is not giving me auto complete education dot describe. You can see that we have five unique values, and the top value is bachelor. And the frequency of the top value is 2000 and just 9000 rows in this data frame. And if we do something like DF education dot value count, you can see that we have um, five here and you can see bachelor is about 2000 college is about 2000. They have high school or below. Then you have master, then you have doctor, doctorate. Well, in this situation, I am going to replace bachelor with college. So basically, I think it's safe to assume that a bachelor's degree means they went to college or I think it's safe to assume that both of these is the exact same thing. So I am, I am going to combine this and I'm just going to change um, the category name high school or below to just high school. So to combine two different categories in a column, it's actually very simple. And also to change the name of a category, it's also simple. So to execute this, what we are going to do is we are just gonna do DF education is equal to df education dot replace and in this situation we use a dictionary and then we want to replace bachelor with college or uh, I think we should just replace um, college with bachelor just to make things more consistent. So if we go ahead and execute this, now if we do DF education dot value count, as you can see here, bachelor and college has been combined into one category and as you can see now the count is 5,000 over 5,000 instead of 2,000 individually. So that is how to combine two different categories in a column. You can just um, replace one with the other. Now I'm just going to change the name of high school or below to just high school and doing that um, follows the same syntax as this. And in this case, I'm just going to replace high school or below. So the first item here is what you want to replace. And the second item is what you want to replace it with. So in this case, I'll just say high school. And if I'm going to execute this and also repeat the DF education dot value count. 
as you can see, our high school category has been replaced with this. So, just to quickly recap, I went ahead and imported the data, got a preview of the data, kind of got a quick overview of what the column of interest looks like, and I replaced a, this category with this category, kind of I combined the high the bachelor category with the college category into one category just called bachelor. And then I replaced um, this category name with this category name. And that's basically it for this video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do tutorial data science stuff, <laughs> obviously. And if you did not like this video, please give it a double thumbs down and still subscribe to the channel. You can find me online at evidencen.com. That's my primary website. Or you can go to evidencen.com slash blog. That's my primary website. And this tutorial notebook that I use today can be found online at machinelearningeducation.com. This is where I keep all my resources. So if you go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free, or just go to the main website, which will be in the description, and click on this, you'll be able to get to this page. And this is where I keep all my resources. So I make a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of blog posts, and I end up with a lot of notebooks and resources. And I just find it easier to put it all under one roof, to put it all in one place. And here you will be, you will be and here you will also be able to get the videos and project and the code and the notebook and the blog post. So basically, I found a place where I can just put everything for you all to have access to everything in one place. So that's machinelearningeducation.com slash free. That's basically it for this video. Like I said, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.